Today we talk about the Ford 1000 series tractors, stick around to learn more. In 1962 Ford introduced the Ford 2000, 4000 and 6000 series utility tractors. This group of models were referred to as the 1000 series tractors. Although slightly restyled, the 2000 and 4000 were basically the same as the 601 and 801 series tractors. There were some differences in the paint colors, the grill and the front Cyclops emblem was no longer used. The 6000 series was a major rework and featured a six-cylinder engine, allowing for much more demanding applications. There were three transmission options, either a four-speed, a five-speed or a select O-speed transmission. This is how the model numbers map to a tractor's features based on a five-digit numbering system. The first number. Models with a first number of two came with a 134 cubic inch gas engine or a 144 cubic inch diesel engine. This would be the 2000 model tractor. Models with the first number of four came with either a 172 cubic inch gas engine, LP gas engine, or a 172 cubic inch diesel engine. Now, for the second number. If the second number was zero, this signified that the tractor was produced before 1963. If the second number was 1, this signified that the tractor was produced after 1963. The third number. The third number was actually two digits. A10 represented a row crop tractor. A11 represented an offset tractor. This is where the seat and steering wheel are offset to one side of the tractor for better viewing. A20 indicated the tractor was a utility type tractor with an adjustable front axle. A21 was an orchard type tractor without an adjustable front axle. A30 was another utility type tractor, but the front axle was not adjustable. A31 indicated a low center of gravity style machine. A40 represented a heavy duty industrial style tractor with a subframe. A41 was the same as the 40, but it also has a cast iron grill. The fourth number indicated the tractor's features and was combined with the second number. If the second number was 1 and the last number 0, this had a 4 speed transmission with no PTO. If the second number was zero and the last number was one, this had a four-speed transmission and no PTO and no hydraulics. When the second number was one and the last number was also one, this model had a four-speed transmission with a PTO. With a second number on zero and the last digit of two, the machine had a four-speed transmission in hydraulics, but no PTO. A second number of one and the last digit of two, this featured a five-speed transmission with a live PTO. A second number of zero and a last number of three represented a four-speed transmission with hydraulics and a PTO. A second number of zero and a last number of four represented a select O-speed transmission without hydraulics or PTO. A second number of one and a last digit of four represented a select O-speed transmission without a PTO. A second number of zero and a last number of five represented a select O-speed transmission with hydraulics and a single-speed PTO. A second number of zero and a last digit of six meant the machine had a select O-speed transmission, a 540 and 1000 RPM PTO and ground speed PTO. A second number of one with a last digit of six meant the transmission was a select O-speed style and had a 540 and 1000 RPM independent PTO. A second number of one and a last digit of seven represented a select O-speed transmission with a 540 and 1000 RPM independent PTO. Finally, a second number of zero and a last digit of nine meant the tractor had a five-speed transmission with a live PTO. In addition to the five-digit model numbers, there were a handful of model suffixes that represented features of the tractor. A dash one represented a tricycle style with a single front wheel. A dash four meant it was a high clearance model with a wide front. A dash L meant the engine was LP gas. A dash D meant the engine was a diesel. It is our hope that this video is informative and helpful to you. Thank you for watching this video. Please help support us by clicking like and subscribe. Please visit the links in the description. This also helps support this channel and allow us to come out with more content.